Here's what happened when S1 GP went to Colombia for round six, the penultimate round at Chakagui. Ivan Lazzarini pulled the whole shot in race one from Thomas Scherer and Pavel came up. Just behind them, David Jimenez and Christian Rivaglia battled over fourth in the opening stages of the race as Lazzarini led on his L30 Honda at number 30. It was very tight in there as well for a while between the three riders, Lazzarini, Scherer and Pavel Kmart. But Kmart of the Czech Republic wasting no time finding his way into second. By the end of the lap, he found his way past the number four, Thomas Scherer, and went after the race leader. David Babano got himself into the rear wheel of David Jimenez, and that allowed Christian Ruvaglia to gain ground and move into fifth. He would then go after the Spaniard. Three laps later, and we had a new leader, Pavel Kmart, edging out the number 30 of Ivan Lazzarini as Jimenez then went after Babano and found his way up into fifth place at the bottom of the hill. Ravaglia was always there, just lurking ahead of them. Lucas Holbacher, 72, had a big crash in practice on Saturday, was taken to hospital and nothing was broken, but he was diagnosed with shoulder injuries and in the first race did come home to take an impressive 11th position, having started from the back row of the grid. But it was a slow start to the day for the number four, Thomas Scherer, having to be content with third in race one, had no pace for Lazzarini or Pavel Kemar, who went on to take victory in moto number one. Lazzarini was second, Scherer third, Pietro Hito Campo was fourth and Rivaglia was fifth. In race two, it was a little brighter, track temperature a little warmer, and Thomas Scherer stormed to the whole shot ahead of Kmart, Lazzarini, and Ravaglia, but Ravaglia was soon passed around the outside through this right-hander by David Bobano of Colombia. So towards the end of the first lap then, that was how the positions were until that will Kmart once again charged his way down the inside of number four, Thomas Scherer, to lead as they crossed the line at the start of lap two. Behind them was Lazzarini in third, Rivaglia was in fourth, Babano fifth, and Pietro Hita Ocampo. And immediately, the two riders up front started to gap Lazzarini in third, leaving number eight, Rivaglia, to fend off the challenge from the Colombian. 2.43, David Babano they fought over fourth place. Behind them, Max Verderosa was in the thick of things. The Italian was always well placed inside the top 10, but what a great ride this guy was having. 2.43, Babano. Verderosa was right there. So too, Rigo, German, Salazar, Saron on the 2.27, and Lucas Holbacher as they all battled over 5th, 6th and 7th for much of the race. Haymar though was not buckling under the pressure from Thomas Scherer. And nor too was Rebaglia, number 8, as he continued to soak up the pressure that was being thrown at him from Bobano, who was having an inspired weekend in front of his home fans. Haymar and Scherer though separated by less than a bite length for the entire moto. And when it came down to it and they crossed the line, it was once again Pavel Kemar who crossed the line victorious ahead of Thomas Scherer and even Lazzarini. And that was his first ever overall Grand Prix victory, his first double moto score as well. And you can see what it meant to the rider from the Czech Republic. So the podium then, mirroring the result from the second race, Ivan Lazzarini third overall, Thomas Scherer second overall, and Pavel Kemar, your overall winner in what was a very successful and well attended Grand Prix of Colombia. They turned out in their tens of thousands to witness the best supermoto riders in the world do battle around this Chakagui circuit.
So Kmart, your overall winner. Chirea second, Lazzarini third, but Thomas Chirea continues to lead the World Championship as we head into the final round in Austria in the middle of September. I feel so much great because this Colombia GP is a little bit crazy for, for everybody because so far from far from Europe and I'm really happy because I ride just five years supermoto and I win first first GP overall and both win so I can't be more happy than now. So thank you so much to the, my partners, to my team and my family and my girlfriend. Thank you so much.